Okay, now I'm going to use um, a back minus front uh, option here. But just to make it clear, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a shape here, a shape like this, so that I can put text inside of the path or the object. So first, I will draw a rectangle like this. And then I'm going to, I already have a rectangle. So I'll move it here on the side and I'll color it, let's say gray like that. Now I'm going to make a circle. Okay, so you, so you click on your ellipse tool or F7 and then you hold down control and then create a perfect circle like that. I'll make it bigger circle than the, the ball. Okay, and I'll just make sure that's the ball is center okay now I'm going to color that red now I'm going to move this over like that and I'm just gonna resize that okay so that's that's good because I'm going to retain this path here just this path so now I click on these two objects click on the first object hold down shift and click on the second object which is a circle now you go to your property here and then let's talk about the see these icons here it's really self-explanatory so for this one since I want to retain the gray I have to click on the back minus front so I click on back minus front and because the red was at the back so the the red will disappear so now I have this this object now so I'm going to remove the fill of that so I'll just click on this X icon here now I already uh, cut some text in my clipboard so I already have text so what I'll do I'll go to my text tool because what I'll do I'll put text inside this shape so I go to my text tool and I'll go inside the object the object that I just did so once you have this letter a B sign in a box so I'll just click on that and uh, suddenly you'll have a paragraph a text box or a text shape and then what I'll do I'll just control V to paste I'm just going to paste my text So now my text wraps around wraps around the the object. Now if you notice here, I'm just going to make this bigger, my text bigger. But before making the text bigger, what I'll do, I'll click on the the shape that I did and I can separate that. Okay. So you go to arrange. So you go to arrange and then break paragraph text inside the part so you're breaking out the breaking up the object and the text that you just did so click on that and now I can delete the shape so remember this is the shape that we just did and I can delete that and now your text wraps around your object now now this dotted line here which is red just disregard that because that's not gonna print that's just your paragraph border 